This week, we take a look at scale, what it is, how we calculate it, and why it's important. Let's start with the question, what is scale? We see 1 8th, 1 10th, 1 12th all the time. So what does this one mean? That's the units of measure we're scaling down to, or for our example, the units of measure we're using for our RC truck. And the 10 is the number of units of measure we're scaling down from, or the size of the truck in the real world. So what does this mean in real English? So for every 10 inches in the real world, that scales down to one inch in our scale world. Now it's gonna get real nerdy. How is all this calculated? Let's use an example. The width of a Toyota Hilux, at least according to Google, is 67 inches. The width of my scale Hilux is 7.25 inches. RC four wheel drive calls this 10th scale. What is it really using this one measurement? Well, let's do the math. First, to find our ratio, let's divide 7.25 by 67, which gives us 0 0.108. This means every 0 0.108 inches equals one inch in the real world. But we're working in the scale world, and it's kind of difficult to measure 0 0.108 inches. So let's do some more math. If you divide any number by itself, it equals one. So if we divide 0 0.108 by 0 0.108, we get one. One is a lot easier to measure, but we've got to finish this equation. And if we divide one side of the equation by 0 0.108, we've got to divide the other side of the equation by 0 0.108. And when we do this, we get 9.26. So there you go, there's your scale one to 9.26. But we're not sending men to the moon here. So we can round this to one tenth scale. So that's the rule of thumb we use. And that's what RC four wheel drive has done with this Toyota Hilux body. This is how we come up with what scale we're working in. But you're saying, Tandem, I already know this. It's, it's printed right on the box. What's the point? Well, now that we know what scale we're working in and how to calculate it, when we're building our trucks or accessories, we know how to keep things scale. In other words, I know if I want to replicate a 44 on a 19 inch rim, I need a 4.4 inch diameter tire on a 1.9 rim to stay 10th scale. How do I know that's the scale? Well, as we discussed earlier, I know we're in 1 tenth scale, so all I have to do is divide the real world diameter by 10 to give me my scale diameter. So the easy rule of thumb is if you're scaling down from actual size, just divide by whatever your scale is. If you are scaling up to the real world size, we'll multiply by that scale. Here's another example. If I want a 19 inch rim in 12th scale, I'd actually want to use a 1.55 inch rim. You can use this method for any scale or project you're working on. If you're wanting to print out a fire extinguisher for a 10th scale garage, and it's a 12 inch fire extinguisher in the real world, then you'll know you'll need a 1.2 inch fire extinguisher for your scale garage. Now to make things even more complicated, Everything we've been talking about, as I mentioned in the beginning, is using one dimension. Things in the real world live in three dimensions. In other words, not only do they have height, but they have width and depth. So let's show this by doing a little bit more math. And we'll use the example of a two ton truck or what is a 4,000 pound truck. And we'll stay within the 1 tenth scale. So according to before, all we need to do to stay in the 10th scale is divide 4,000 pounds by 10 and that'll give us our 1 tenth scale weight. Is that correct? No, that's not correct. 400 pounds would be way too heavy. Because as we said, this is the real world and weight is related to volume and volume lives in three dimensions. So in order to scale down weight, we need to scale down all three dimensions. Now you can see the weight is four pounds. That's more reasonable. Now let's look at an example. I weighed the shop truck and it's 7.6 pounds or in one tenth scale scaled up, it would be 7,600 pounds in the real world. I don't know any Toyota Hilux that weighs might near four tons. That's more in the long wheelbase, diesel, super duty one ton kind of territory. So why do scale trucks end up weighing more than what their scale weight should be? The answer is strength. If I was to cut essentially half the weight out of my shop truck to give it its actual scale weight, it would basically fold in half just by looking at a rock. So reducing a truck to its scale weight, why does that reduce its durability? Good question. Let's use another example. The hood of a truck not only has width and height, but it also has thickness. And when that thickness is reduced in scale, it ends up having the strength of aluminum foil. It's so thin. So in the scale world, we have to add strength. And the consequence of that is weight. This is why it's so important with a crawler to strategically think about how to utilize that weight. We use a Lexan body of high, which is light, but low in strength. 
and we use that weight we have to use down low where we need strength and a low center of gravity. I hope this is a little bit helpful or at least gives you something to think about when you're building those scale items for your garage or building that new truck. We'll do a new RC Basics every week, guys, so hit that subscription down below if you'd like to keep up. Hit that like button, it really helps the channel, especially if you enjoyed this, you know, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below uh, if you have any more questions that maybe I didn't cover or you'd like a new topic for an RC Basics, leave that comment down below. And I appreciate you joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.